In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a function that will calculate someone's BMI and then tell them if they are severely underweight, underweight, healthy weight, overweight, or obese. So the first two things we are going to need is input from the user, um, one being the height and the other being the weight. So we're going to create a variable called height and we're going to set it equal to the input and we're just going to tell the user to enter height in inches. Okay. And then we need to create another one called weight. So weight, and it's going to be also set to the input, but we're going to tell them to enter weight in pounds. Okay. Um, we're going to actually convert these this into floats because as integers, they're not quite as precise as floats. So we're just going to do that. And if you didn't already know, the float function. Uh, converts uh, things into f floating point decimal numbers. So, yeah. So from here, we're going to create the BMI function. We're just going to say define BMI. The two input values that this function are go is going to receive as input is obviously the height and the weight, because that's what it needs to calculate their BMI. And then from here, we're going to actually calculate the BMI. So we're going to create a variable called BMI and set it equal to, um, so the weight divided by the height squared times 703, that is the formula to calculate BMI. So we're just gonna say weight divided by height. And in Python, you can do two asterisks too, and that's height squared. And we're going to put that in parentheses just to make sure that this happens first. And then we're gonna multiply all this by 703. So now we have the BMI inside of our BMI function. What we need to do from here is create a series of if, else if statements uh, to check the BMI and to decide whether it's severely underweight or underweight or obese um, or anything like that. So I actually have those if, else if statements here. If it's under 16, um, that's severely underweight. If it's between 16.5 and 18.5, that's underweight. This is um, healthy weight, this is overweight, and then this is obese. So what we're going to want to do if, if it is under 16.5 is we're going to want to return that they're severely underweight and then also their BMI. So what we're going to do is we're going to return severely underweight, but also the user's BMI because we're going to want to tell them at the very end of this, we're going to tell them their BMI and then t also tell them if they what category they fall into. And then from here, if they are between 16 and 18.5, we're going to return underweight. So return underweight and then the BMI. Between 18.5 and 25, they are healthy. So we're going to return healthy and the BMI. And then if they're between 25 and 30, they're overweight. So we're going to return overweight and the BMI. And the last one, we're going to return that they are obese, return obese and the BMI as well. Okay. So from here, we need to um, actually call this function and store uh, these whatever this function returns as input into variables. The two things that this function returns as input is a string telling them what category they are in, whether that be obese, overweight, healthy, uh, and so on and so forth, and the BMI. So we're going to use um, unpacking and we're going to say quote is the first variable and BMI is the second variable. And we're going to set that equal to the actual function na name, which is calling the function BMI. And we are going to um, give this height and weight because this function, this function call right here, we're passing it height and weight, what the user has typed in up here for their height and weight, and we're passing it to this function. So the quote right here so this is unpacking if you don't know what this exactly what this does this quote 
What's going to be stored in here is the very first uh, thing that this function returns, and the BMI is going to hold whatever it returns second. So now we have quote and BMI. We have two variables, and all we have to do now is we're going to use a method called format, and we use it on a string. So we're going to print it out to the user. We're going to say print, and we're just going to say your BMI is, and then curly brackets here let's do this yeah curly brackets and we're gonna say and you are curly brackets and we're gonna say dot format and we're gonna say BMI and quote and what this does is BMI will be placed with inside of these first curly brackets and quote will be replaced in here and that's how this format method works okay so now we can run this program so we will say run said so it says enter your height in inches we will say 69 into your weight in pounds we'll say 168 and it says your BMI is 24.8 see this is why I use the float it's much more precise than just saying your BMI is 24 and you are healthy Okay, we'll try it one more time. We'll run it and we will say height in inches. We will say we are 65 inches. And weight in pounds, we will say 456. Your BMI is 75 point, a lot of numbers, and you are obese. Okay, so that is how you create a quick and simple uh, BMI function. Um, I hope that it was helpful and you learned something from it. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed.